Hello Mark Dunning, uh, we're back here at Tom for the start of 2023 pre-season. Before we look at what the next few weeks involve, how was your break from what was quite an intense second half of 2022? You obviously went away with Scotland, but how have you found these last few weeks yourself? Yeah, it's been really good, really refreshing. Um, went to you know went to the World Cup with Scotland and, and really enjoyed the experience and, and working with some quality people and some quality players up there as well. And, you know, really refreshed myself and, and, and did some some home learning and, you know, trying to upskill myself as well. Um, yeah, you know, stayed in contact with everybody still down here at Bradford and, you know, I'd, um, I'd umpteen meetings over Zoom and, and, you know, drove back a few times for some meetings as well. So, stayed in contact with everybody. Um, really, really enjoyed the off-season and, and itching to get going again. It's, it's really good to be back. Last night saw an induction evening for the first team reserves in academy with that pathway in place at the club. How important was it that that meeting took place? Everyone's aligned with the same values, you know, the same work ethic. Yeah, absolutely vital, and that's the reason we did it. You know, it's it's a one club mentality for for 2023 and beyond. So, you know, we spoke about being united and and you know everybody within the the organisation following the same rules, having the same principles, and and having the same goals as well. So. It was absolutely brilliant to see, you know, young kids from the from the academy and from the reserves uh, sat on the same table as first team players, and you know, getting to know each other, having a coffee and and a natter, and and just enjoying people's company again. Uh, it, it was great to see. There's quite a good vibe around the place. It's the first day back. The players know they're going to be getting flogged, but. They're not letting that affect them. There's good, there's some good vibes around. Some good banter flying about. How much do you enjoy this stage where it's the first day? All this planning that's taking place, you know, will ultimately lead to whatever success we may have next year. Yeah, I just think it's great to be back in it. You know, it's great to, you know, there's a, there's a real good feeling about the place. I've not felt this feeling at this club for a long, long time, and you know, there's a real positive vibe around the place. The players are absolutely buzzing in there. All, although they know it's going to be tough over the next few weeks, and we spoke about that last night. You know, and setting a base based on hard work and, and work ethic, they're all they're all in. They've all bought in straight away. You know, they they're jumping straight in rather than dipping the toe in, and, and actually looking forward to the hard work that's going to lay the foundations for what hopefully will be a successful season. What are you looking for over the next couple of weeks? Is it just to see how people bond together, how the gel is it conditioning, is it a morale side of thing? What do you look for in the head coach? A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. We've just got to build. You know, the foundations over the next few weeks. Um, we're, we're going to be physically fit, there's no doubt about that, so the, the players are in, under no illusions, we're going to be a lot fitter than we, we, we have been and you know that's going to be the base on which we play, the, the style of rugby we're looking to play next year, so uh, yeah there's a lot of hard work, there's a lot of gelling to do because there's a, there's a number of people left the club and a, a number of exciting people joined the club as well, so loads of gelling to do and that, that's a really good part of pre-season because it's when people make, you know, make bonds and friendships that, that are going to last throughout the tough times of the year, you know. When your backs are against the wall in the game and you turn around and you've made a real solid friendship and that friend's going to cover your back. Changes on the field, off the field in terms of coaching personnel as well. You brought Lee Greenwood in who's a real quality coach at this level as your assistant coach. How beneficial will it be to have Lee on board? Yeah, it's going to be great. You know, he's got a wealth of experience, uh, he's got a wealth of knowledge and you know, he's coming here to add to our environment and you know, in the little meetings we've had already and, and the few bits we've done already, I can see that's going to be evident. So he joins the staff that we've already got and um, I'm looking forward to him adding value to us. The championship fixtures are all out there as well. We know who we're facing in round one and beyond. You know, all roads now lead to that first game against Whitehaven. I'm sure that's in the back of your mind. You know, everything that gets done tonight, tomorrow, the next few weeks will ultimately stand us in good stead for hopefully a good start to the season. It will, it will, it's really exciting isn't it, you know we've got our roadmap now so we know what our destination needs to be or what we want it to be and, and we've got the roadmap in front of us now about how we achieve and how we reach our destination so um, you know that's up to us now to navigate the, the obstacles in and around that and, and that's the challenge, that's the excitement and I'm looking forward to it. And just finally, we have brought in a number of new faces as you've mentioned, I'm sure there's some more to come as well but how pleased are you with the squad so far? Yeah, really happy, you know, and that's testament to the club. You know, they've backed us in what we wanted to do with, with an overall of the uh, of the squad, and you know, I think we've brought some quality individuals in as, as well as quality players as well. So, I think you know they're all going to add to the group, and you know, they've all got a, a, a part to play within the group as well. So, the outcome base uh, will determine what goes on between now and and the start of the season. But I'm very very confident in the group of players we've we've already got. Uh, I'm very excited on the, the players we're still working on to get over the line.